I've been waiting three years for this place to start doing delivery. I'm talking Tom's Pizza. Now, Tom's Pizza, it's a solo dolo pizza joint here in Seoul. Started by Tom, I think he's from New Zealand. He ran the business for several years, I believe. But recently, what I heard is he moved back to New Zealand. He transferred ownership over to somebody else. And I think that is why they are doing delivery now. The new guys saying, hey, let's get on those apps. I actually have had Tom's before, way back in the day, it was probably four or five years ago. It was back when I lived on the other side of Seoul. It was an hour away, so even if they did delivery back then, it wouldn't have reached me. But I heard about it, I heard it was fire. I went, I made the trek all the way and I tried it out. Tom was there cooking, real small joint. They had a small bar area and like just a few tables. Waited in line and I got a bar seat uh, cause that was the only seat available. And this is a very long winded story. The guy next to us at the bar table, I was, you know, enjoying my pizza. First couple bites in, you know, and they started talking to me. He recognized me. Then Tom got involved and then the server got involved and we we're all, you know, taking shots. Basically what I'm saying, is I don't really remember what this pizza was on. I haven't had it for so long. And when I finally did move closer to the vicinity of where Tom's is, I was like, yes, I can finally get uh, some Tom's pizza. Not even for a video, just for myself. I realized that they don't do delivery. And so I'm not happy per se that Tom is gone. I'm happy that uh, you gave it to somebody who put it on de the delivery apps. And ho hope you're doing well. Shout out to Tom and Tom's Pizza. This is, I have zero affiliation. This could be bogus, but right off the bat, I like that sticker, no fork and uh, knife, uh, use your hands. That's how you should be eating pizza. So what did I get? Obviously, I got a pizza, mmm. Oh yes, that's looking better and bigger than I remember. This is a half and half pepperoni, half sausage with onions on there. I didn't know there were gonna be onions on that. I ain't complaining. It's super rare to get a sausage pizza in Seoul, in Korea, so. And look at the size. Like, you can tell they're hand rolling out, hand tossing this dough because it's not a perfect circle. It's flopping over the edge here. Uh, I love that. Uh, we also got some wings. They have two different types of wings. They have lemon pepper and they have buffalo, and I got uh, the half-half combo pack of that. Here are the lemon pepper wings. One of the only places I've seen uh, that sell lemon pepper wings around here. Here are the buffalo wings. These are piping hot, by the way. They also threw in ranch and blue cheese. Love that. They threw in some crushed red pepper. Good touch as well. And celery sticks. This is a thin style pizza. Looks, again, hand tossed. This is the crust part I'm talking about. It's hanging over the edge. And so, same with this piece right here. Uh, nice looking underbelly. Looks like uh, good ingredients. They're using real nice homemade ingredients, I feel like. Probably making that sausage by hand. Here's the wings, there's nine each. Decent sized wings. I mean, they ain't no Quetzalcoatlus wings, but um, you know, that'll get the job done. Celery sticks, and then the blue cheese, ranch, all the essentials, except Parmesan, but it looks like there is some kind of Parmesan perhaps already on the top of this pizza. And all this food came out to $37.59 at the uh, current exchange rate, which is an acceptable price. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, for, that's a pretty good steal of a deal of a price because this is a lot of food. I probably won't be able to finish all of it, but I just want to savor each bite. Uh, will I though, or will I just eat like a maniac? Let's try a piece of pepperoni. Flop. No flop. For, for one, y'all don't know how hungry I was today. That's one problem I have. They don't open until 5 or 4.30, at least for delivery. So, god damn, I was starving. You can taste the TLC baked right in. Let me tell you what, man. That's just a, a good solid pizza. You always gotta respect when somebody who knows what they're doing, who's passionate about some, something, will open up a business where I imagine it would be pretty tough to open a business in a foreign land. You know what I mean? I don't know the, the pizza game in New Zealand, but I, I mean, he knows what he's doing. That's all I'm saying. And I'm thankful that the recipe didn't get messed up. They're still holding true.
might be kind of hard to see those sausages, but look at like the, I wouldn't call, I don't know if you'd call that leopard spotting per se, but that's what I'm going to call it anyway. I, I pretty much is. This is one of the better underbellies I've seen on a pizza in, in Korea. Hmm. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. However, I'm still on the quest, man. I still have yet to find a place that does sausages like you would get in America. These are, this is decent sausage. It looks like there's fennel seeds in it, but it's missing that extra kick of that Italian sausage crumble that I grew up on. I don't know exactly what it is, but the meat is good. It's tasty. Nothing wrong with it. It's just missing that next step of pizzazz to it. I'm not trying to be harsh. I'm trying to just say, someone served me up a goddamn sausage pizza. Uh, good choice on the onions. Although, would red onions be a superior choice in this form factor? But other than that, zero complaints is mighty fine. Justice. Finally, some decent buffalo wings. I've been, mm. I did that whole video called like, I'm bored of the wings, return of the king or something. It wasn't that, but uh, cause the wings, the buffalo wings are so lackluster around my area at least, that you can find good wings if you go to certain spots in Seoul. For some reason where I am, they ain't got them. They do have a bunch of wings, but they're not buffalo wings. But they call them buffalo wings, which makes me even angrier because they're not buffalo wings. These are some buffalo wings. And no lie, I'm gonna be on my off days. I will be ordering from Tom's Pizza. And the blue cheese, didn't even have to select it, they just threw it in. Mm. It's so rare. To eat these flavors. Sometimes this happens when I eat a certain flavor. I get transported away to another place, mentally, metaphysically as well, and I'm definitely there right now. I'm gone right now. This flavor is just, it's got the right amount of the tanginess, the buffaloiness, the, there's a little kick to it. I, I don't even know what month it is right now. And I don't remember what the last time I had a lemon pepper wing. It's been, no idea, five years, 10. Mm. <laughs> wow. I don't, so I, yeah, like lemon pepper wings just don't exist. I don't even know if I've ever had a lemon pepper wing. I probably have, but uh, it's not in the memory banks right now. Let me just tell you, if this is how they usually are, then I'm on board. They're not sauced. Um, and I'm just guessing that they're not supposed to be sauced, but they're crispy. Wrapped in foil, we're all, they're steaming up uh, through the delivery process. The steam usually makes it soggy, but these retain their goddamn crisp, which is, that's, I hope maybe you can hear. No. Kind of hear that maybe. Well done. Well done on the wings. I'm not really getting that much lemon pepper flavor though. I will say that. I don't want to look like some kind of shill. 
But I don't want to purposely seek out things that could be improved just because I don't want to look like a shill. When I already said in the beginning, I have no affiliation, but... It ain't easy being cheesy, that's all I can say. Let's uh, get some of this on there. Just going, going in, man. <laughs> this is making a bid. This is really making a, a, a push. They're throwing their hat into the ring for best pizza in Korea. Can't confirm it or deny it right now, but I'm gonna say easily, not even a question, top 10, um, almost like maybe an easily top five. My brain's not really working too well right now, so I, I'd have to think about it, but just know it's, it's fire, mighty fine. Uh, have you ever come to Seoul? Went some decent pizza? Search out Tom's Pizza. Here's the debate that we'll have, that I'll have with myself. Blue cheese or ranch? I've heard a lot of different opinions on this. People's opinions who I respect when it comes to food. This is one of those things where it can get pretty uh, fierce. Some people just don't like blue cheese, which I can kind of understand, I guess. So if you just don't like blue cheese, and your only option is ranch, okay. Uh, your taste buds need to be refined a little bit. Gotta level up the buds on that one, but uh, it is what it is, you only have one option. Now, if you like both, I've heard somebody say, stop fighting over it, both is the right answer. If they have both, get both. If they only have one, to take what you got. Ah! Got too excited on that one. Let me definitively tell you right now. Ranch. It's good. It's creamy, ranchy. Blue cheese. Yeah. Oh, maybe there is no correct answer, but I will die on this hill. It's gotta be blue cheese. Something about that, that little low-key stank to it, you know what I mean? That just goes well with the, that goes perfectly with the buffalo. Something about it. I'm not quite sure. All right, y'all, I'm just gonna shut up for a little bit and just enjoy this food. I'm gonna probably fast forward through a lot of this footage because I haven't really got anything else to say. And I really just want to, like I said, savor each and every bite uh, without feeling too stupid and self-conscious about what I'm actually doing here. Hold on. Pizza and blue cheese. I don't think I've ever done it. Maybe I have, but I don't remember if I have. Let's see how it is. Mm. Mm. That's good, man. That is good. I like it. I love blue cheese. But here's the thing. Pizza. I gotta go with ranch. Ring Lady was watching a video of someone she watches on YouTube. I have no idea who it is. Some, it's like, I think it's a Korean YouTuber. No idea who it was. And then she started busting out laughing from the other room. I was like, what? She's like, the YouTuber who I'm watching, she's doing a vlog and she's watching you eat pizza. And I was like, oh, that's insane. And they were commenting in the video of me dipping pizza into ranch. And they're like, nah, you can't do ranch. You gotta do blue cheese. I think blue cheese is for the wings, ranch is for the pizza. Of course, you can mix and match.
really debating right now in my head if I should finish everything. My stomach is telling me yes, but my belly is telling me no. So I'm just gonna have like another win. And then give the rest to Ring Lady. Some good pizza around here. Not a bad pizza too. But if you have patience, things will pay off in the end, like Tom's Pizza finally delivering to my studio. So that's about it for now. I'm about to skate out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.